This is how my parents wish we traveled. Yeah, I wish. We're headed to Florida. <clears throat> we're gonna do it right this time. Last time we went, uh, well, we weren't feeling so hot. We didn't get a bunch done. So, here we go. I'm Brooke, and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs. Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. So yeah, we're traveling back and forth, back and forth, trying to get everything ready, prepped, and done so we can get out of Florida with Mermaid Monster. We have lived a bit of land life over the holidays and through the new year, and here we are in spring. And I can say, as I'm doing this voiceover, we are in another country. So, success. If you want to follow our real-time adventure, you can follow us on the good old Instagram. You made it. Oh, well, yeah, we made it. What's the alternative? Not making it? What are they? What's the things? Are we gonna go hot tubbing? Yes, yes. Oh, it's my sweat. Yeah? It's still not safe. Can you turn on the um, Hold on, excuse me. Oh, put my stuff down. Good morning. We're on the boat, right, Pen? Yeah. He's being shy. We're on the boat, it's morning. We're gonna go out and go to the beach because it's cold in California and it's so warm here. It's like 80 degrees, but super windy and the surf is huge. So we're gonna go out to the beach, don't know which one. And I've lost Raiden. I can't ever find him on this boat. Apparently he's fixing the air conditioning, but it feels like it's working. And there's like a water issue. That's the interesting thing about boats when they sit, somehow you come back and things are broken. I'm going to help for this. Go with us again. Go again. Do it. Oh my gosh, let's go fast. Well, Pen, if we ever need to survive, I know who I'm going to hang out with. Pen's up. Oh my gosh. I feel like this could get dangerous. So the marina loves this. Wow. That took like five seconds. Like legit it's five seconds. On fire. That's crazy. It was on fire, Mom. Hey, Brooke. Yeah. We need to tighten the lines. Can you redo this? Why? What is this prank? Go redo. Go what redo is it. Prank? Go redo it. No. Why? Why? Redo it. <laughs> Joke. No, this can I happen. Don't trust this. <laughs> we must have had a a wind pushing us out. Wait, why? What do you want me to do here? Like what? Just tell me. I just need you to tighten the lines. Just seamanship 101. What who the heck tied these lines? It's not who tied them, it's how much wind was pulling against them when we were gone. I think it, it is tied right. It just no, got really no, cinched out. It's, not, it's it's tied different than how we tie it. Yeah, but it is tied correctly. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. You got it. Yes, it is. Chilly down here. That's okay. Dad's down here in the propane tank. Excuse me, sweetheart. Is it the same hose? Yeah, so um, these hoses here, they're leaking. So we're gonna just replace them all. Wait, what hoses are leaking? The propane hoses. Okay. The hoses that go from the propane to this regulator right here. 
I don't think it's anything past that. I think it's just because these ones get kinked a little bit more than the other ones. Yeah. So we're gonna replace those, but it's hard to get the right sizes on that. Um, cool. There's a lot of stuff to do, and the more I keep on opening up doors, the more I find. My kids are absolutely starving, so I gotta go cook them dinner tonight. Getting everything out of the way so that we can start to just get this thing totally scrubbed down, make it look like a brand new Nordhaven 60, right out of the factory, perfect. Think we can do it? Yep. No. I think we can do it. There's a lot of mess in here. Pen doesn't think we can do it. We need to go eat dinner. garlic and onion powder and olive oil and it's just simmering so that is the whole mixture so delicious and then I pour over that and then I take all my cheeses and blend it all together and then chop up basil and mix that in hmm. finally made it down here what are you doing? Oh, I got in over my head. Um, Always do. Yeah, cleaning all this stuff up. Um, there's a bunch of belt dust everywhere. How'd that get there? But I think it, the belt, um, so we have this huge stockpile of belts, right? And so I keep on using these belts, but the problem is, is that they're all very old. So like you can't really stockpile belts except for like more than a year because they just wear out due to time. And that was my mistake. I'm gonna throw away all this, there's probably like 30 belts that I have for different sort of equipment back in this bin. I'm gonna chuck them all and just get one set, maybe two sets of uh, spares just in case. But um, old belts, old belts are no good. It's not a very good cleaning attire. I'm trying to be careful. I didn't know I was cleaning. You made me do this. That suit is not oil proof. No, I know. Am I supposed to talk? Just get the mirror back there. Really good. I can't reach it. And it's hard water. Do you have anything for that? Yeah, I have way too many things for that. None of them work. We're on the last step. The last step of the starboard side engine. Um, I still have to do the port side. Alright. So what we put these we put these um, oil zorbs down here. And these will catch oil, but they won't they won't absorb water. Which is really neat. Um, I didn't know that something like this existed before we had a boat. It tells you that I probably didn't work on my own car either. Um, but uh, we put them under here so that, so that if there's any dripping, it's very obvious. And then we can track down where it came from. So this is the last step. And then we're done with this side. Done cleaning? Yeah, well, I mean, we're done most of the fillet. They do look a lot cleaner. So we're gonna, re in the heat exchanger here, we put two of these zincs in and we swap them every month, every other month, depending. So here's the key. You gotta take off the price tags. Never put them in with the price tags. What is a zinc? Um, so a zinc is a, basically when the electrolysis happens, it's gonna eat this zinc before it eats any of the harder metals. So it's a really soft metal and it's gonna go ahead and eat up all this zinc. So let me show you, here's ones that came off of the starboard engine here. And you can see that it's it starts to corrode that, and that's better to corrode this right here than it is to corrode the heat exchanger. You might remember when we had that um, pinhole leak in the heat exchanger that we got fixed at a radiator shop. But um, 
I, I, like I always sacrificial. Yeah, I always replace these quite often. Um, this one here needs to get replaced, but you never know what the last guy did. The last guy probably did a lot. It's probably the guy before the last guy. Because he replaced them every month. I believe in. That. You can see the old one. That's ready to replace. So, a project that we are working on that we're doing is installing new hatches uh, in our boat. Uh, I don't think you have to do this very often, but we're working with LaCurt and they have sent us all new hatches, which is amazing, but we have no idea how to install them, so we're trying to figure that out. Uh, Here's an example of what a hatch looks like when it comes. It looks like hatch. And here's some user notes. Maybe I should read this before I try to install it. But that's pretty solid and brand new. And it won't be leaking by the time we're done installing it. So thanks, LaCurt. We'll see how this goes. You got one out. I can get them all out. Yeah, they're all oh, coming good. out. Fine. I thought it'd be harder than that. Best tool that I've ever found, although it's expensive for an electric screwdriver. Electric. What is this? Screwdriver. Don't ask me. Look, that way, that way. Just That's goes where whichever way you point. That's what she said. I don't know if that works. <laughs> yeah, but you can try it. Funny. We're replacing our hatches, as you can see. We're just seeing how it, I actually don't have all the supplies that I need, but we're gonna So we're just start. gonna take a hatch out and just leave a hole in our boat. That's like a great idea. It's kinda how we do things. Oh, Susanna, this is the part that we don't, don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, we do. We had some good years, so let me be. Uninstalling hatches that honestly work fine. No, well, ah. so this one works. There's two up front that have a little bit. They're leaking. Of a leak. Yeah, and so we're gonna we're and replacing all of them so they all match. But is the only it reason. is cracking too. The top of it. I was looking like that part. Yeah, it's sturdy. I mean, it's, it's cracking. The UV's gotten to it. What's this life without a sweet goodbye? And though it's over, take this letter for when the nights grow colder. Yay. All right. Dear friends, you did it. Hearts, Hold that the time dog. has come to part. I feel like a carpenter. <laughs> Geppetto. It's looking pretty clean though. I mean, it's almost done. Yeah. To clean up the edges. All right, so what we're doing here is we're getting, um, we have to reach, I have to reach, I, I wish it was we, I have to reach all the way back there and, uh, and take the terminals off um, with paying careful attention not to hit the positive and the negative. Even though the house batteries are off, if this wrench goes down and it hits the positive or the negative and it connects, we know it's gonna happen. We don't want that to happen at all. We're gonna get zapped and we don't want that. So, here, let me show you. Putting my arms all the way back there and, and getting that with paying close attention not to have the wrench go back and forth. So we got two jobs. I stick my 
skinny arm under there and get him out. And then Jay's the muscle, and he gets him over the lip right here. <laughs> get uh, Jay told me a funny thing. What did your dad tell you? You should either be strong or smart, and I should have chosen smart. <laughs> oh, it helps to be strong right now. All right, so Jay tells me uh, right when we get to this part, hey, this one might spark a little bit, but don't worry about it. Well, how would you take that? Very I'm carefully. I'm excited. I'm ex I, take yeah, it very carefully. I love fireworks. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing. Should I pinch your butt while you're doing this? Oh, no spark, Jay. Nice. Then you did it perfectly. Nice. All right, we got a we got a problem. We're missing a battery bank. And the only place that the battery bank could be, we have battery bank three, battery bank four, and then the only place that it could be is back here. You can see some cabling way back there running, and it's probably back here, but there's even a shelf held over it. And can you imagine getting this battery? Honestly, no, not now. So here? we'll take a stab at it next week. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and leave a comment below. We'll see you all next week.